Yes, guys, this video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is a sporting twist on your classic game of bingo. So instead of numbers, it's possible outcomes in a football game. So, you know, you, you can have on your card corners, goals, yellow cards, red cards, whatever it is. And as soon as you tick off a line on your card or you fill your whole card, you could win up to £175. And also, guys, Match Bingo is just capped at £2 per game. So if you're worried about overspending or not gambling responsibly, then you don't have to worry because each one is limited to just £2. It's a fun, easy way to have fun over a game of football with your mates. If that sounds like good fun to you, then make sure you hit the link in our description, download the Match Bingo app, and give it a go. See how you get on. Let us know. If you win any money in the comments, guys, but match bingo link in the description to download the app. And please remember, guys, to bet responsibly and you must be over 18 years of age to play. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV and welcome to a brand new episode of Round the Corner. Round the Corner for Chelsea is another trip to Wembley. Two months after Liverpool beat us there in the Carabao Cup final. Chelsea have a chance to redeem themselves against Manchester City, which some of you probably think, yeah, not happening. But we have reason to have a little bit more hope. But we're going to get into it. Bit of a preview, a uh, bit of a what can we expect. It's obviously Saturday, quarter past five, I believe, and we will be there. I literally said I won't be going back to Wembley for a while, but here I am. Just got a back team, haven't you? But yes, there are plenty of reasons to feel a little bit more confident. <clears throat> I think some people are looking out um, for Manchester City, obviously crashing out of the Champions League against the defeat to Real Madrid on penalties. Now that the treble is off, um, they've obviously been given a little bit of an advantage in the league because Liverpool and Arsenal dropped points. But Arsenal also crashed out the Champions League. They're now looking at the league thinking this is it. So Man City aren't taking anything for granted at the minute and they're going to want to beat us at Wembley. Maybe there's fatigue, maybe there's exhaustion, but somehow Man City always managed to pull something out of the bag. But considering how close we have come to playing a fully fit Man City side, a fully strengthened Man City side twice, home and away, scoring five goals in total against them, there are still reasons to believe that we could potentially get something out of this one. Now, for Chelsea, this is honestly season-defining. We've said that so many times this season, guys, but after disappointingly losing out on the Carabao Cup when being so close, Europe has been our main target, but in the league, we've not looked convincing. Obviously, we had a great league win against Everton, and we're hoping that we can continue that on, even though we've got Arsenal next in the league. But in order to secure some European football, we really have to be winning every game now, just, you know, for the, the pride and just to actually have something to, to end this season on with a bit of positivity, because it's been, it's been rough. It's been rough to say the least, guys. But either way, we get to make another trip to Wembley. Obviously, a difficult place to go, but one where we can actually provide an atmosphere for the players. One in which, you know, you trust that they will turn up because it's a big occasion and it's going to feel like a little bit of a final. I know it's a semi-final, but again, we have to take every game, um, particularly when you're playing such strong opposition, as important and we really have to turn up. We almost beat them at home. We almost beat them away at the Etihad. So can this be the one that gets us over the line? Man City knocked us out of both domestic cups very early in the stages um, of last season. We barely got a sniff. So could this be redemption time? And um, after we, if we overcome that hurdle, then we've got a spot in another cup final. So it's not so bad, not so bad. But in order for that to happen, we need Chelsea that turns up for big games to turn up, not the ones that slack back, sit back and just make stupid individual errors. Don't play like a team that are given quarrel on the pitch. We need unanimous effort. We need um, a team effort, really. It's what we want to see. I want to see a performance. I want to see our players rise to the occasion. And speaking of players, it is going to be very interesting to see to see guys you know who i'm gonna say cole palmer once again against his former club he's already scored and he's already shown to manchester city what a big loss for them because he's been exceptional for chelsea he's up there with the best players in the league this season he has been phenomenal and what a better way to just continue that on 
into a semi-final against Man City, that would just be the icing on the cake and it would be so, so, so good. So if there's looking, if we're looking at individual players that we can um, hope or look to to hurt Man City, then great. But obviously having judged how he's playing, I think Pep's going to be extra cautious with Palmer and how he's marked. I don't think they'll necessarily give him as much space uh, to be able to, you know, work his magic. So I think it's going to be, it's going to be quite tough. But Equally, saying that, I don't know how much change we see in the squad, considering that Enzo is obviously um, a big question mark with his fitness at the moment. He's obviously had a lot of physical problems, I think, throughout the season, and it's gone a little bit under looked, um, overlooked because he has been playing through it, and people, you know, have still scrutinised the performances, have still said that he's not at his best, but he's literally been playing through pain. So I'm not too sure where um, he stands in terms of starting, being on the bench, featuring in the squad at all. Um, and obviously we saw that Palmer played further up with, with Gallagher and Caicedo alongside each other, which seemed to work well, but it was against Everton. So I'm not too sure. And also, I think that there will be some changes in the front line. Um, this is where I bring in Raheem Sterling. Now, he's divided opinion all season. We've all been up and down with how we feel about Raheem Sterling. I'm not even sure if he's match fit at the moment or even if he is, but I definitely see him playing. There's no way at Wembley, Sterling, what's most to be our most experienced player, and just to add to the pot that he's a former Man City player, there's no way that Pochettino's not going to play Sterling or at least feature him, in my opinion, because again you know he's risen to the occasions when he's had to as in he you know has turned up against man city so if not anything else at least that at least that and i think potch will bag on that on experience so if he's fit question is does he start and apart from that i'm not too sure we see any other changes really the back line obviously we managed to keep a clean sheet and again no disrespect it was everton you know they weren't great up front made a lot of mistakes at the back um which did make things easier man city are not going to leak goals like that um but the issue is can we keep their forwards at bay um another thing with man city that's been quite um powerful in their favor this season is shooting and scoring from outside the box now we struggle a lot when it comes to defending set pieces when it comes to defending shots from long range and i worry that that could be a problem at wembley you've got space you're gonna try and be um you know you're gonna take some risks uh, man city are gonna give us a game i don't want us to sit back either i want to give them a game too and it's exactly what we did when we went away to the FC Had when we hosted them at Stamford Bridge, and that's what we must do at Wembley as well. Um, so I think, yeah, we need to be extra careful from those shots coming outside the box because they have a lot of players that can do that, you know. Um, so that's the element of surprise there as well. I'm hoping that Haaland decides to not turn up for this game in particular. Um, it will obviously be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be easy. And even though they're fatigued, I don't think they'll be that fatigued. They're still going to have time to recover. You know, they won the treble. They've been tackling games and a, a massive fixture list. That's why Pep is, you know, such a great manager. He's able to handle this. So I'm not too sure that I'm buying into this whole, they're fatigued. They've played 120 minutes early in the week. We've had, <clears throat> excuse me, time to recover. Don't think that's necessarily true. But yeah, I guess we'll see, guys. But let me know in the comments down below how you feel. I personally think we can have a chance. We just need to be clinical. We need to defend well. And we need to just um, concentrate and manage the game till the end. We can't be falling asleep. We can't be affording to let silly goals in and let ourselves down that way. Because I think the worst way to lose is letting your own self down. Not getting beaten by the opposition, exactly. Or being over overly dominated or outplayed outperformed you know just blown straight out of the park no it's always when we let ourselves down so i'm really hoping for that redemption guys we are going to wembley and yes let's put on a performance let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments down below i'm excited now but i feel like tomorrow i'll be quite nervous but yeah either way it will be a great day out hopefully a good atmosphere hopefully taking the win home and making another cup final not so bad eh for a crappy chelsea side they say <laughs> but anyways guys make sure you subscribe to chelsea fan tv if you haven't done so already check out my personal channel nina's chelsea corner hit the like button on this video and as always stay tuned for the content dropping this weekend have a good day guys